um, it was pretty hectic. Um, it's almost like a stampede. There was lots of people, you know, there were people trying to protect him, but unsuccessfully. And then the guys went in there. Um, they sort of put a little cordon around him to stop um, him receiving any more, um, you know, um, physical harm. He, he, he was still... Yeah, yeah, he was, he was under physical harm. You know, he was under, his life was under, under threat. And um, whilst they did that, I sort of just thought, well, if he stays here, he's, he's not going to make it. So I just went under, scooped him up, put him on my shoulders and and uh, sort of started marching towards the police with him whilst all the guys were sort of surrounding me and protecting me and the, um, and the guy I had on my shoulder. I could, actually feel, I could actually feel, you know, you know some strikes and hits as I was carrying him, you know, so, you know, these guys were probably taking some of that <laughs> themselves on, on, on their person. But I was thinking to myself, if the, uh, the other three police officers that were standing around when George Floyd was, um, you know, murdered, um, had thought about, you know, intervening and stopping their, uh, their colleague from doing what he was doing, like what we did, um, you, know, George, you know, George Floyd would be alive today still.